As New Zealand attempt to play spoiler to Australia's Women's Rugby League World Cup campaign, the need for the Warriors to make their NRLW return has never been more apparent. The Gillaroos have proven untouchable through their two matches so far, scoring a combined 176 points and conceding zero. Meanwhile, the Kiwi Ferns have the best chance of any side to dethrone the defending champions and they'll know exactly what awaits when they face off against their trans-Tasman rivals in their final group game in York on Friday morning, AEST, however, with the Gillaroos improving out of sight after the expansion of the NRLW and improvements to the game's pathways in Australia, it's a tall order for New Zealand. The return of the Warriors, who were a foundation NRLW club before withdrawing from the 2021 season due to COVID-19, would help narrow the gap considerably. However, despite the NRLW expanding to six teams this year and growing to 10 sides in 2023, the club has yet to make its return. The club is hopeful that it will be back in the competition by 2025 and the return is crucial to the growth of the international game. It was very disappointing. Back home, we have a huge pool of talent and without the Warriors it's hard to tap into that, winger Madison Bartlett said. Our games at home aren't recorded, so it makes it hard for those girls to be seen or scouted. Myself, I am very lucky that I have played, so coaches have something to see and go off. We have so much talent back home, we've heard different things as to why the Warriors don't have a team but it is very disappointing, but I am hoping we can get a team back soon just so those girls can have an opportunity. Bartlett is living proof of the talent on offer across the Tasman. After she was picked up by the Dragons, she became the NRLW's leading tri-scorer for a time. She was fortunate in that she had the flexibility away from football to relocate to Australia temporarily, a luxury other New Zealand-based players do not have in, Witho, 